more than 100 tonnes of ivory from some 8,000 animals up in smoke. The stockpile of elephant tusks and rhino horns near Nairobi would have been worth a fortune to smugglers. But Kenya's president, who lit the fire, wanted to send a message that such trade, which poses an increasing risk to the species, must be stopped. Poaching and trafficking in wildlife is now a branch of international crime. The fight against it will be won by alliances across nations and continents. The first step must be closer cooperation, especially among the states that hold Africa's remaining elephant herds. Despite a 25-year ban on commercial trade in African elephant ivory, conservationists say legal one-off sales have revived demand. Kenya is now seeking a total world ban.